Okay, today we're going to be writing functions in vertex form. So we're going to be writing this equation here, which right now is in standard form, into vertex form. Remember, our vertex form is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So I need to complete the square. So remembering how to complete the square, and this is a little different since I have two variables. So group the first two terms together, and our constant term leave outside the parentheses. Now we need to add in a number here that completes the square. When I add in 1, that completes our square. Now it's an equation, so it needs to stay equal. I added 1 to the right side, I need to subtract 1 from that right side. Now again, we've rigged the problem. We've rigged the problem so that this is going to factor purposefully to x minus 1 squared. Now simplify the outside to get plus 3. So just as you remember, our vertex would be 1, 3. <clears throat> now in this case, we have a number, a coefficient on the x squared. That coefficient needs to be 1. When we did completing the square before, we would divide because we didn't have a y variable. But now we have this y variable, so I have to do something a little bit different. From just these first two terms, I need to factor out a 3. I'm actually going to factor out a negative 3. And again, remember, leave that constant term on the outside. So I factored out a negative 3, making sure that that negative 3, I changed the plus 6x to a plus. Now I need to add in a number that completes the square. And then remember, I need to subtract that number on the outside. I, have a, I really added in 9 times by negative 3 because the negative 3 was factored out. And I would have to distribute it back in, and I'm really subtracting a 27 in this whole mess. So I'm really adding in a negative 27, so what cancels that out? Add a positive 27. So now we factor. To get that, plus 37. Now it says completely analyze the function. What they want us to find? They want us to find the vertex. They want us to find our axis of symmetry. Remember the axis of symmetry is a line that goes through the vertex. All right. And then we open down because our 3 is negative, and we have a vertical stretch. of 3. Okay, our next example. Write the equation of the function graphed. <clears throat> Remembering our vertex form is this. So, right here. Right there we are given an H and a K. Right here, we are given an X and a Y. So we need to then solve for A. So substitute in appropriately. Y was negative 1. I need to find for A X was this 4 value, h 
is the 2 from our vertex, and k is the negative 3. Now, I just thought of something, and I bet you some of you guys are wondering, why didn't I choose this to be xy? Well, remember, h and k is standing for our vertex. So that's a more specific, that's a super specific point on our vertex form that gets us h and k. So that's going to be, so if they give you the vertex, which they do in this case, make that h and k instead of x and y. Okay, now we, all we have to do is solve. 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4. I add 3 to both sides. A is equal to 1 half. So now we write in vertex form. Y equals, every equation has a Y equals, when I'm writing a quadratic, X. Now fill in your H. And fill in your K. So notice how we have an X and a Y. I didn't plug in that point for my X and my Y because that's a specific point on the graph. I want our general equation, which is this one, right here. Okay, there are your two lesson questions, and please make sure those are submitted on time.